In today's mashup video, you're gonna see content such as this. Yeah, how about you? How about huh? Yeah, I'll you. Of course. My ticket costs 600, that's how much I need. Do you have anything else? No, bitch. Excuse me? Let's hop into it. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of clowns on hardcore pawn. Number one, big argument. A woman walks in looking all pissed, but there's a mystery behind all that shit. Apparently, she had a big argument with her boyfriend, and he left right here when she needs to go back to Hawaii. We got in a big argument, and he left me, so I need to he get back home. He left you here? Oh, yeah, he left me, and I got to get back. Back where? To Hawaii. Oh, really? Where about? Honolulu. Got a ride from my cousin, so you gotta hurry up. Damn, it takes that long. Why the hell is she in such a rush? I mean, we have Ashley here just doing her freaking job. So what the heck is wrong with you rushing her all of a sudden? I got this from one of my aunts in Africa. This is $600. Oh, do you know what it is? It's an African pearl. That's what it is. It's actually a Tahitian pearl. Tahitian pearls are Okay, black. so how much is it worth? It's going to be under $600. My ticket costs $600. That's how much I need. Do you have anything else? No, bitch. Excuse me? What the actual hell is wrong with that woman? I mean, did she actually just call Ashley a freaking bitch? I'm actually very concerned because at this point I'm pissed. He left you now. Bitch, you don't know why the oh, f he, no, left he left you. No, you. I f the f girl. What are you gonna do? I'll kiss my Honey, that, you don't have that kind of money. All right, f you. F all of y'all. If you want some help, talk to us like a human being. I really have no clue why she actually came in and caused a freaking scene for no apparent reason. Someone tell her before she walks in that we genuinely don't care. Number two, tough customer. A girl approaches the window with the intention of pawning jewelry. However, it appears that she despises waiting completely. It's been seconds after all. Come on, what is she doing? Now she's checking on my <sighs> For real, because you know we gotta be at work in a minute. Excuse me! What? Come on now, boo, what you doing? Excuse me, why are we pawning? Um, I just gave him my neck. Okay. So she's going to test it, right? How much did you want? 1500 200 How much? 200 200 We now see why her partner is hurrying her so hard. It turns out that he wanted her to be unaware of the necklace's worth. My dude has some junk on display. Dog, get the out of my face because you want that anyway. It's right. dumb. So you talking about 250 Yeah, alone. You'll have 90 days. I'm trying to get my car fixed. Okay. That's all you could do. Do you have any other jewelry on you? Uh, nuh uh. We can't. All right. We can't. Uh-uh, I'm good. Sorry. A million dollars? No, I don't believe that at all. That's probably a lie from him, but one thing is certain. Ashley was making every effort to assist. Oh, oh, all right, go on, just go out, go on. This is not okay. I mean, this guy was like two feet taller than her. This is crazy. And you can walk from this bitch too. Just get the f out. Go on and walk down eight miles on some real Open my mother like I said, man. Like I said. For real, dog. No. What you talking to, man? He really simply gave her a shove. Dude, frick you. Ignore you. How in the world are you feeling up there? There's no doubt that this man must be stopped. Number five, brightest bulb. A man comes in to buy a generator since the power in his house went out. He needs a lot of help to comprehend how this thing works. Let's see where this goes. Um, it says 900, but I don't have 900. What do you have? I only got like five. 500? Yeah. <sighs> how about seven? Um, I could push it to six. I'm pretty firm in 700. Well, could I take it to my house and see if it'll work? What? Somehow, I saw this coming. Not exactly like this. More like his ignorance just made me think he would think of some crazy things. Did you fire it up at my house? Once you purchase it, you can actually take it to your house. This is ridiculous, dude. I mean, I'm overpaying for it. I only got five. You ain't gonna help me? If you want to buy this, I'd be more than happy to sell it to you. I'll show you that it works here. No, that won't work. You all right? person without a front tooth says, did you make a huge mistake? My boyfriend genuinely thinks that, as if there were such a thing, he can just borrow anything and give it back. How good that's so? Um, hell no. How no, that, no. How good that's so? No! Man, this is ridiculous, man. F*** your store, bitch! I really think you offended my poll. No, man. Yeah! You need help. Psychologists. F*** this place. Psychiatrists. A beer. Something. He definitely needs something. You've never met a wiser man than my buddy Byron. Definitely after Les, Ashley, and Seth. Well, whatever, dummy. Seek some help. Number six, pawning boob. This woman walked into the room and tried to pawn her jewels. But the diamonds in this ring seem to have a distinct brand. Travaski Sounds pricey. I want to pawn this ring that sure. I have. I know that this part is fake, but I know the diamonds around it are Travaski crystals. Travaski? Yes, Travaski. I don't know what that, what that brand is. So if they were, they won't be sending anything fake. 
I truly enjoy how, rather than carrying on the conversation, Seth told her that this was all untrue and ignored whatever the hell she was making up. Because it is. No, I'm not going anywhere until you give me some money for my crystals. You not understand English? Do you not understand English? I understand English. You not understand the word Shavasti crystal? No, I don't. So what the f are you talking about? Yeah, but you're not getting I have something that's real. Really? These right here. These, they're real. They're real. Can I get some money for those? How in the hell did you even get out that boob? Who said this shit was even desirable? Actually, we want nothing to do with that shit. And all this ugly bone popping to my face, man, just my monstrosity to my eyes. You're gonna give me something before I... <laughs> if, you, if you're making me choose, I'll take the ring. Yeah. You don't know no crystals when you see a mother... I would say and do the exact same thing. I mean, was this girl actually putting on her breasts in the hopes of attracting Seth? It's just a huge amount of flesh. Number 8. Human hair. In all honesty, that wasn't the real issue at all. But this one is very sure she can sell some hair in the fur area. This lady is the issue, not her. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese women. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. bohemian. Uh-huh. Bohemian. And I Chinese paid a thousand dollars for it. I want it 800, but um, the lowest I will go is 300. Is it genuine hair? Yes, it is. You it's the kind we have Beyonce wear. I'm pretty sure that I've been this close to this freaking wig before. I mean, where in the name of Satan did this woman acquire this ridiculous notion? Stupid indeed. It's it's very beautiful. You want to see me put it on for you again? Sure. Yeah, look, see how I'm watch change. Hold the first name. I'm sorry. The health department won't let us sell used hair. That gaze said it all. She was clearly offended. After all, Leslie called her smelly and filthy in a variety of ways, and he would have none of it anymore. Everything. We do, but I just can't think. Okay, you, you can right? wipe down the hair. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you. So come this back. Come, come back on, when you have. Come back. I'm trying to do this right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? Please. Well, it's a salon. It's a salon in here. Yeah, it's a blow. He's gonna. Blow. He's, gonna he's, he's gonna, gonna show it to you. Right right there. He's gonna show it to you. Right on. Come on. You can twerk it all the way out. Leslie's belief that she is a drag queen is rather audacious. She demonstrates her actual femininity, my guy, by twerking as if it supports her claim. I'm relieved she visited the salon's parking lot. I got a brand new mother PlayStation 3. That's all I'm talking about. Stop talking. You treat me right, I treat you right. Well, so far you haven't. Here you go, sir. Hold on, hold on. This ain't mine. Is this the wrong one right here? Whose is it? This is, I don't know who it is. It ain't mine. Got me it is, is. Look, 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 mine was brand new out the box. The minute he brought it in, we bagged it and labeled it. What's up, people? Welcome back, and get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of foolishness on hardcore pawn. Let's hop into it. Number two, strip. Rich, you're next. <laughs> this should subsidize your cost a little yeah. bit. Number four, big argument. There's a mystery behind all that trash, but a woman steps in looking really angry. Her partner apparently got into a heated quarrel with her and left immediately away, despite the fact that she needed to return to Hawaii. Okay, let's take a look at it. I'm here with my man and we got in a big argument and he left me, so I need to he get back home. He left you here? Oh yeah, he left me and I got to get back. Back where? To Hawaii. Oh really, where about? Honolulu. Oh, okay. I got a ride from my cousin, so you gotta hurry up. Damn, it takes that phone. How come she is in such a hurry? What the heck is wrong with you rushing Ashley when she's here just doing her friggin' job? I mean. It's actually a Tahitian pearl? No, this yeah. is from Africa. This is an African pearl. It might be from Africa, but these are Tahitian pearls. Tahitian pearls are Okay, black. so how much is it worth? It's gonna be under 600. My ticket costs 600, that's how much I need. Do you have anything else? No, bitch. Excuse me? Did that woman really just call Ashley a friggin' bitch? If so, what the heck is wrong with her? Actually, I'm really worried since I'm mad at the moment. You I I'm not leaving no place. Yes, you are. Oh, no, I ain't. Oh, yes, you are. If you want some help, talk to us like a human being. I truly had no idea why she entered the room and made such a stinking scene without any obvious reason. Someone should let her know that we don't really care before she enters. Number five, stupid friend. A woman wants to return her TV, so she goes right to the window, but she doesn't have a ticket or any identification at all. Thus, she is there to cause problems, and this is already troublesome. You're not in our system at all. Can you check again? We have no Gabrielle Adams at all. What type of business is this and you can't find me in the system? You're not in here. Did you see how she was looking at you? She looked at you like you were stupid. Not really her buddy. It was simply an attempt to get her to make a big deal out of nothing. How precisely are you making this argument when the girl was gazing at both of you normally? Something. Even I looked three times. No, that you don't know you what you're 
I got him. She's Are you back there? Like one 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 I can resolve this. And you come back there and take this all out. I have very pretty and very useful eyes. Thank you. I saw all of it. This thing is going nowhere fast. This issue is just going to get worse, as Les mentioned. How could it be this foolish? All you are, really, is not part of the system. And my, how well your eyes function. I checked three times for them. I know. Don't come into my store disrespecting my employees. You got me twisted. Eat that doodle. They gonna find me and my I know I will be coming back this piece of That's it for me. I see. So, you won't be returning at all? I find myself feeling so upset about this that I'm at a loss for words. You're too much, honey. So thank God you're not still here. Number six, online romance. Peter, a man, enters and tries to purchase some jewels. He has a number of watches, a number of rings, and several other items. We'll see whether he strikes it lucky today. Hi. Hi, how are you? Peter. Peter, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, I'm here today uh, to see if you would be interested in buying some jewelry. Let me see what you got. Uh, there's a reason I'm here today. Um, my fiance is in the Ukraine. As you might imagine, coming from Eastern Europe, it's quite expensive. So, are you originally from there? I was born and raised here. Given that he is here and she is there, I assume she went to Ukraine on business or for some other reason, but I'm not certain. Regardless, it's really kind of him to come see her. That guy's cool. And I was able to meet Lena there. Are you kidding me? Get a mail order bride from the Ukraine. I went to see her for the first time and we knew very quickly and we got engaged. And oh, so you've been with her since? Yeah, twice. 10 days each time. 20 days? And now you want her to be your wife? Well, um, never thought. After barely 20 days together, this guy genuinely made the decision to marry and live out the rest of his life with this person. It's frightful. How about 525? How about 450? You know what? I'll take five for the ring. I'll do 450. I think I'll pass then. You can split it with you. 475. You got a deal. Is that a deal? Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Ashley. I'm going to go home and buy the ticket to bring Lena here to Detroit. And then I'll bring her down and introduce her to Ashley. Yes, I don't believe introducing her to Ashley will be a very good idea. Especially since, to be honest, she refuses to give to Fs. You do you, boo. But be sure you do it somewhere else. 9. Pink Coat. The woman enters shouting, having miraculously seen her own coat on display. Interestingly, the coat is pink. And she is well known in the neighborhood for wearing pink outfits that make everyone look good. Okay. I need my coat. Everybody know in the hood. I'll rock pink. Oh, great. I need my coat. Sure, give me the ticket. Well, number one, it's a brown fur coat that you have. No, I didn't know. That's pink. We can all see it's pink, my love. But what we also can see is that on this ticket you have, it's nothing but a brown fur coat. So, unless you think we're blind, you should get out of here. It says, brown fur coat. Pink is not brown. Unless you're colorblind, it ain't your coat. I've been coming here too many years, and I need my damn coat. That's why I'm not swearing at you. It doesn't matter. I'm having hot flashes too. I get my coat right there. Give me my Les, why are you staring at her? She clearly needs her stuff, so why are you waiting? Yes, to be very honest, I'm simply playing around with you. All I can tell is that everyone will be shocked by what is going to occur. Mother Get your I ass out of my I'm store. not going no mother I need my coat. Never coming this big. Holy mac. No, the I'm coming down, y'all got my up in there. Bring me the- I run pink. I'm a pink bitch. Bitch. Please take heed, everyone. This is the pink bitch, because you'll need to know who she is when you see her in the hood. In any case, I'm relieved she's out since it was a really dumb move on her side to contact security. N number 11, fake Gucci. This lady is going to pawn off a phony handbag, alternatively said, it's a phony Gucci, but her confidence tells you that it's worth a lot after all. Get a loan on it, or you guys can buy it. I'm trying to set up for maybe like 150. 50 bucks. Why is it $50? The certificate and everything is in there. And the bag costs actually way more than that. Well, if you can tell, it's actually stained all through here. I'm trying to sell it for $150 or get a loan for $75 instead of the $50. For heaven's sake, why the hell is she not realizing that this trash can be pawned for a whopping $50? Listen to the facts only. If you know purses, then you know this is cost way more than this. Okay, but I'm not going to pay you for the amount that you think it's worth because it's stained. This is not one of the newer ones. This is not this season. I know about purses. But you, you still willing to buy for $50, though. So if it wasn't worth it, why would you even say $50? Can I talk to somebody else? I'm going to talk to your pepperoni-looking ass. Can I get somebody else? My pepperoni-looking ass. Ass pepperoni-looking. If that qualifies as roasting at all, that's a whole new way to do it. Ashley, nevertheless, is going to eject you from the store. Listen to me. Can I get somebody else to talk to? It don't even matter. I don't have to talk to you. And I don't have to talk to you either, so why don't you go home? Can I talk to the owner? I'm the owner. You're not the owner. The owner is the other man. You you must have. How you get here? You your way to the top. 
you. Ashley, get a freak on her. Her attractive pepperoni should really know better. If not, I'll visit the business personally to impart knowledge to the person who surmounted all obstacles. Number 12, purse owner. This woman enters the store and says she wants her purse returned immediately, saying it is one of the ones on display. Honey, hold your horses. That's my purse right there. That one right there, the black one. So I want to know why it's out there. This is your purse. That's my purse right there. How do you know that's your purse? Because I know my purse. If you don't give me the purse, I'm going to climb over the counter and get it myself. Overcome the counter and do it on your own. If you don't get yourself together, you'll end up going outside but staying inside. Can I look at it? You want to buy it? I just want to look at it and make sure it's not mine. Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm not, not... First of all, don't talk to me like I'm a f idiot. You. Give me my f purse or I'm going to come over that counter and get it myself. What's it going to be? Okay. Oh, my God. Sure, she wasn't thinking clearly when she did that, but our guy Byron will take her brain out of her ass and put it back where it belongs. Have a nice day. Let's go. Walk oh, yeah. yourself out, young yeah. you. You know you just hit me with that pole, right? Go. Bitch! Go where you got to go. I'm gonna kick your go. ass, you wait! Go. This woman was really a handful. I mean, every time she opened her blasted lips without any purpose, I felt exhausted. And discussing logic, act reasonable in God's sight. Bigger is better. You want them with large? I want them bigger. Bigger. Bigger is better. What's up, people? Welcome back. And get ready for a hardcore pawn video full of angriest customers on hardcore pawn. Number one, big earrings. A woman enters the store with the intention of purchasing jewelry, namely hoops earrings, and she seems to know what size she wants. I find it annoying, so let's see how fussy she can be. You like bigger than that? Yeah, bigger. Bigger is better. Bigger than that? That's smaller. Have more down here? Do you like something like these? Those are even smaller. Okay, do you like these? These are large? Okay, do not know the definition of large. I said big. Bigger is better. You want them with large? I want them bigger. Bigger. Bigger is better. I mean, you appear to be living up to this motto because, well, you're too huge to be real and you always go for the big things. Thus, please just stop talking. Stupid and orange. Yeah, you've been in the tandem boot too long. Maybe that's why you can't comprehend what's going on here. Someone help me. Hello? Can somebody help me back here? Listen to me. Listen to me. I asked Oh shit, Ashley. I have no freaking clue why the hell did you think saying that will bring you justice? Because I know it'll just bite you right in the ass. Good luck. Lady, why is it so serious? Why do you want these big, huge, gaudy earrings? Bigger is better. We successed. Greater is better. All right, we actually found it. Anyway, with your enormous plump ass standing on the counter and howling like a dog, how in the world can you even have the arrogance to call Ashley dumb and orange? Simply leave now. Number, number three, earring error. A woman comes in to get her pawned earrings. Unlike other folks I've encountered, at least she came prepared with her ID, even though it looks like her ticket was taken. Who are you? Manager, can I help okay, you? Okay, first of all, y'all got all this money. Y'all can't make me a copy of my receipt? Thank you. Where's my back set? No bag. I have. Felon convicted? My laughter was equal to Nikki's. Why does she keep referring to all people as felons and convicts? Your ID was with you, and it was lost. What the devil? Are you wearing her back? Oh, oh, no. You got Is my back on your ear. She the one who took my money last time. I'm not leaving out of here until I get my mother back. Says it on your ticket that you didn't have them when you brought them in. We don't have them. No cars up. Bring me my back. Ashley has had enough of this garbage. Actually, all she did was threaten to get into problems for herself by messing with the cars outside. I pray for peace in her soul. Oh, oh I'm Girl, sorry. No. Trying to act like you were in Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, by the way, your zipper's down. Oh, by the way, I'm about to up your car. Get the oh, off that me car, you bitch. Give me my earring. I'm going to you up. I'm coming back up here for you, bitch. You promise me that? Ah, don't make promises. Rather than offering promises, I intimidate others. That is definitely one heck of a statement. What the hell is going through this stupid woman's head? Heaven forbid. Give up chatting. Number four, violent girlfriend. Would a man want to know how much a ring really costs? And would he buy it? Not sure. However, he was suddenly surprised by someone. I wanted to get it appraised, see how much it might be worth. Okay. I also wanted to know how much you guys would give me. Okay. What the f are you doing? 
what are you talking about? You, you said you're coming in to get a receiver. I'll probably sign one. He wanted uh, an appraisal on this ring. Oh, no. Oh, Ashley, you've just let my boyfriend down. I understand that this is your work, but I just hope that you don't have to deal with this bombshell, as it would be too much for you to take. Get bike parts? No. You're a f liar. Yesterday, you said you needed bike parts and didn't have the damn money, and all of a sudden, you got my damn ring. You're a f liar. Why'd you take my ring? What? What in hell is this situation? No one would actually do it in the midst of a public location and not even flinch. Just give me my ring. Just give him the ring. All right. Thanks. Bye bye. Let's go. Right. Oh. You get a pawn shop? I've seen people fight. I've seen people get hit. I have never seen a girl soccer punch her husband. For the glory of God, it continues. But I must admit, I'm very surprised by this. But at least you went, girl. Women typically experience that type of thing. But this instance feels spiteful. Number five, fake teeth. The reason this woman is so irate is because she believes she owns the TV in the front. Let's get this celebration started, honey. This is obviously not yours. What brand is your TV? That right there. Right, hit it. Take it. Yeah, see him. If it's in Pawn, it's in the back. It's for sale. It's in the front. Why is my out here on the floor? Why is that a different it's brand? A different brand. That's bull. Hold on. Let me get this straight. She pulls out her teeth. A whole heck? These teeth. God, they appeared out of nowhere. I'm enraged at the moment. Old hag, follow me. This is really disgusting. And jewelry. I shouldn't put that in my panty and walk out. Okay. Why don't you go? Why grab don't your you TV? go in the line over there and I'll take care of you? How does that? Okay. Let me get back on. Put your me. teeth back in. Oh man, that's beautiful. Oh my God. That ain't fake. That's real money. Wish the teeth were real. This woman was out of her mind. Go to the window. Give your pawn ticket. I'll be more than happy. Bring out your merchandise. Even more repulsive is the way she inserted them. That's what finally got to me. That crap. Whoa. That woman is very, really disgusting. Thank you very much. And have a blessed day. Well, I'll go get my. There we go. Where did that come? Out of you. All right. Tell Hook to take care of you. Boys, Hook. I'm on Hook right now. Where the f is Hook? Hey, Hook. You go. That's your ass. Stop playing. Okay, thank y'all very much. May the birds of paradise fly up your nose. On this one, she really let her imagination go. Emma tells her that the birds of paradise are a good source of fresh teeth, since you're in this place, in need of some. 9. Bowling balls. A confident girl entered carrying three bowling balls. But if she continues to be this loud, she won't be all that lucky. I'm good. Oh, I'm good. I'm gonna be even better, baby. I got three bowling balls for you. They hot and ready. I just want like 150, though. 50 a ball. What do you need the money for? Well, I was gonna get some new equipment. I mean, my average 168, but it's slowly declining. Why? Because he's lost. He's a merciless. And I'm gonna come through, and when I let that bitch go, I boom. Whoop. Leslie will definitely whoop your ass. To prove to him that he doesn't care about anything, you were going to shatter the damned counter. I ain't giving you nothing for balls. 150? You got it. Why don't you stop talking so much Take your balls and leave. Going nowhere. Well, you want me to throw these motherfuckers right out the front door? If you throw them bitches out the door, you're going to follow right behind. Get if you out your hands of my on me, store. listen here, listen. You dropped your ear. I don't give a damn. You can have it. It's Take dollars. your balls damn. out of here. Grasp every ball you own and walk away. Please, not just these ones, baby. Because it appears like you are having a lot of fun conversing with Leslie. Not for long, though. Take a deep breath, calm yourself down. Then I could have told you we're not interested in your balls. Baby, on some bullshit. They don't want to do no business. Oh, shut the f up. Really? Suck my motherfucking bowling balls. Oh, the big one, mother. Who dumbass? Mother. Who is my mother? You have an attitude that irritates everyone around you, goddammit. That explains why you only have these balls for sale. Number 10. Human hair. Entering the room, this lady tries to sell some human hair. First of all, she really wore it when she arrived. And second, she actually seemed to know what she was talking about. It's Chinese women hair. It's who? Chinese women. Chinese boy man? Bohemian. Oh, bohemian. Bohemian. Uh -huh. bohemian. And I Chinese paid $1,000 for it. I wanted 800, but um, the lowest I will go is 300. It's already colored, and if you want to color it again, you can. Is it genuine hair? Yes, it is. It's the kind of have Beyonce wear. I adore that I can actually believe her. I can, I promise. Especially considering that Beyonce consistently dons wigs, particularly those with bangs. In any case, do not discredit Queen B. The health department won't let us sell used hair. Um, uh, by the way, once you wash it, it'll be all right, won't it? Not really. You ever tell me y'all wash all y'all merchandise before y'all put no, it up on there? No, but that's only, okay. that goes over and your... And it's DNA in them coats and stuff. There is. Okay, so we, what's we wrong with that? Let me ask you a question. All the time, they when got all this up in here, funky, funky, funky.
It's unexpected because she raises some excellent issues. They're not washed, and there's filth, perspiration, smells, and DNA. I appreciate her intelligence. However, human hair? Oh God, it's good for drag queens and, and ladies and all that stuff. Come on, now you gotta give me something. You're not a drag queen, are you? No, I'm, I'm all woman, baby. It's all woman. I, you're all woman. Y'all wipe down everything. We do, but I just can't take it. Okay, you can wipe right? down the hair. Right now. Why don't you escort her to the salon department? Please. Is it a salon? Is it a salon in here? Yeah, it's a blow. Wait, he's gonna, blow. He's gonna, he's blowing the right there. You can twerk it all the way out. Everyone is watching her twerk all the way out. Did you know, too, that she had some very good lungs? Since I'm sure it hurts, she yells most of the time. Discover everything. Number 12, tantrum throw. Number 1, mad woman. A woman walks in all mad because she picked out a ring and put the money back. But she wants to put it in layaway and get her money back, which does not work. I want my money back. I don't want no in store credit. Have you ever seen? Yes, I got my damn receipt. This right here. Okay. So you want a cash refund, you said? Yes, I did. Okay. It says Get no it cash. I'm sorry, but it's on your receipt. If you have money down on a layaway, we don't do refunds. We just store credit. First of all, I'm so thankful that she has a receipt because this would be way more tiring to explain to her very little mind. I don't want to make no payments. This is a bull. I just want my refund. Can I get my damn refund? I can get loud just like you and make a scene if you want. Or you can act like a lady. Right on, Ashley. This woman just became way too loud for my ears. And at this point, they would bleed because of all that shouting. You can leave. Get your hands off me. Get your hands off me. I don't want to be in this place anyway. I get my later. If you want me to help you out, you need to come back at a different day, a different time, so we can handle business. Poor little Ashley. This woman got all up in her face for no freaking reason, as if she owns the store and we didn't know. Well, thank God she's out of here for good. No, no. Number five, big argument. A woman walks in looking all pissed, but there's a mystery behind all that shit. Apparently, she had a big argument with her boyfriend, and he left right here when she needed to go back to Hawaii. I'm here with my man. I got in a big argument, and he left me, so I need to he get back home. He left you here? Oh, yeah, he left me, and I got to get back. Back where? To Hawaii. Oh, really? Where about? Honolulu. You gotta hurry up. Damn, it takes that long. Why the hell is she in such a rush? I mean, we have Ashley here just doing her freaking job, so what the heck is wrong with you rushing her all of a sudden? It's an African pearl. That's what it is. Is it actually a Tahitian pearl? No, this no. is from Africa. This is an African pearl. It might be from Africa, but these are Tahitian pearls. Pearls are Okay, black. so how much is it worth? It's gonna be under 600. My ticket costs 600, that's how much I need. Do you have anything else? No, bitch. What the actual hell is wrong with that woman? I mean, did she actually just call Ashley a freaking bitch? I'm actually very concerned because at this point, I'm pissed. I'm not leaving no place. Yes, you are. Oh, Honey, that, you don't have that kind of money. All right, you. If you want some help, talk to us like a human being. Who the they think they are? Them. I really have no clue why she actually came in and caused a freaking scene for no apparent reason. Someone tell her before she walks in that we genuinely don't care. Number six, toothless instigator. The unfortunate woman has not had a single tooth left. She was not at all fortunate with her children. They took both sets and just disposed of them by flushing them down the toilet. So she needs to sell some junk to get money for new outfits. How are you? Got a little bit of a problem. Can't imagine why. My kids were playing around last night, broke my teeth. Now I have no teeth. They broke all your teeth? Yeah, I had dentures. So they How'd were they bring them? Um, they flushed them down the toilet. <laughs> but what I'm trying to do is sell this so I can get more. So they took both sets? Exactly. Had no teeth. See? Ah. Uh, I mean, did I really laugh so hard? She lost her set of teeth. I mean, I'm giggling about it even now. Her entire set of ass teeth. And you want how much? About 300. I'm not gonna be able to give you 300. Two? No. See, the issue is it has to be a certain amount of weight for me to pay you for the silver. $10. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> no. The moment she said, this is a promise ring, I just knew it was all a lie. $10 seems like a pretty excellent deal to me. I can get you $10. I'm not, no. You know what, you're being a real bitch. My store. Congratulations. Nobody calls me a bitch in my store. Chocolate is smart, bitch. I do, and so do you. Now what? I'm here. Now what? I'm here. Keep walking. Bitch, my car's this way. Thank God she lived, but she was messing with the wrong lady. Was there anything else that could be done? Well, at least she was done with her teeth. Absolutely nothing. She already looks quite awkward. Number seven, flying fur. A very kind couple walks in and begs to sell some fur coats so that the proceeds may go to their city. They would not say which organization they are thinking about. Are you guys from Detroit? We are Detroit. from Detroit. So we want to get rid of these things. Basically, I need a receipt for my tax write-off of what, about? I want to say about 15000 
Do you know what we are? We're a pawn shop. I can't do that here. Um, is there a certain charity that you like to normally donate? What does Why it does matter? it matter? Everyone in the tome is changing, I see. Now they are changing really bad, huh? These people need to understand that they are not going to get their way. Why are you stuttering? Do you know your job? Wait a second here. Wait a second You don't here. call me a bitch. You don't get in my face. No. Number two. Really? Have a good day. Let's go. Did you just throw it in my face? What you gonna do? Oh my gosh, no. Doesn't this guy really have the audacity to throw it in Ashley's face? She will teach them a really hard lesson because she is not having it. Did you just throw this in my face? You should go calm down. Did you just throw this in my face? Hold on. Are you serious right now? Hold on. The store is a bunch of crap. They should have gotten somewhere else for their tax write off because I actually know the coat is worthless. Keep the coat. Inept? No. Does she honestly still call her that? But she is the bitch, for sure. You know, Ashley, that they're as worthless as these coats. Number eight, bodybuilder. It's evident that this woman, who is there to sell her jacket, also has an amazing body. A body of a builder. Observe how this transpires. Could you do me a favor? Yeah. Could you kick his ass? You want me to? I can I pick him up. There was no question how strong this young lady was. I tried to make it a funny little situation. How do you want me to pick you I up? I don't know what you're I'd doing. I say pick him up by the head. That's fine. I mean, pick him up. No, nay, no, hi. She should have picked up Bobby J. I don't know how I missed it, but this guy, oh my God, that aches so much. But then I brought Rick into this situation. I'm gonna break my back, I'm gonna cry later. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not giving you any money. Take your shirt off. Oh! First time in a long time that a woman put their arms around me. With what he just said, this person truly made matters worse. That was funny as well as really unpleasant. Either way, he was definitely horny. I wouldn't. How about 35? Yeah. I'll go 15 and then I'll be it. 15 you want to do 15? Fine. Fine. Squeeze his Thank hand. You. We got the jacket and we had a little fun. Thank you, good take luck. care, have a good day. They've made a sensible compromise that works in every manner. Bobby J's touch was the finest of the best, as everyone knows. Number 10, the bag. Almost out of nowhere, a guy enters with the largest suitcase I have ever seen. And, incidentally, it seems to have no purpose. He just carries it around nonchalantly. Big fella, can I help you? No, my man, let me talk to no, you. No, man. You're not coming in here with that bag. This man. is my bag, man. No, man. What? No, man. Stay right there. Man, this is my bag. We're going to bring a bag in our store. We're going to inspect it. It's just our policy. My man, do what you have to do, because this crap is going to blow in your face if you don't. But it looks like it will blow right in your face before you think. The next thing I know, this guy bolted like a son of a bitch. What do you think? I'm not gonna unzip the bag and look inside? This man appeared to be carrying a million dollars in his backpack. Just face him, dude, and stop eating about the bush. Well, we will now know. Oh my Oh my God! My man! Oh my God! Was there a whole ass man in this bag or what? Why the hell do people do this? All right, I get it now. However, why wasn't he screaming for his life? 